Hey guys, so today we're going to be working on this tiny little chip here. It's the 80 Tiny 85. I got this one from Farnell. They cost about a pound. I've got a bunch of stuff for them recently, so I'll be working on a few projects. Uh, and one of the things I'm going to need to do is learn how to program this. Now, I've already done it, and I wanted to show you how to do it too. I learned about it through um, a website called High Low Tech. I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also put a link to where you can get these on Farnell because they're really, really cheap there. Uh, and I thought it's easier to learn by observation. It certainly is for me. So if I show you how to do it, then you'll know how to do it too. Also means that if I forget, I can watch it back. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. We'll, we'll wire this up on the breadboard and I'll show you how to use your Arduino Uno or other microcontroller to program it. Um, we're gonna start off with a blink sketch and I'll also show you a little uh, diagram as well to make it a bit easier. You're gonna to need to pick up the Arduino Tiny library library, code, I'm not quite sure what to call it. Uh, this allows your Arduino IDE to talk to 80 tiny cores for the Arduino platform. And you can find that at this address here. I'll put the, the link in the description. It's pretty self-explanatory what you need to do. There's a readme in there that shows you how to install it. Right, we're gonna start out by sorting out our program. And that's gonna be an UNO, so it's gonna be an Arduino ISP. ISP stands for in-system programmer. Uh, and there's a sketch that you can upload to the board uh, that's pre-built, it's in the Arduino IDE. So let's have a look at that. So once you've loaded up the Arduino IDE, if you go into File, Examples, and then Arduino ISP is at the bottom there. I'm using Arduino 1.5, um, but you can find it in the older, older versions as well. So if we just load up that, and then it's got a bunch of stuff in here, and we don't need to mess around with any of it. We just need to upload it to our Uno. So, just need to check the board is Arduino Uno and the port is COM5. And we've, we just like upload that now. Right, once that's uploaded, uh, we can disconnect for a little while. And we also need to connect a, uh, a capacitor across reset and ground. This present this prevents it uh, from, from resetting and allows it to be the ISP. Now once we've got our ISP sorted, we need to start breadboarding up. Uh, so we'll take our AT Tiny 85 and we'll plug it into the breadboard. The little dimples just there indicating where pin one is. Uh, we need to connect it up to five volts. So five volts is there and that connects to the top pin. And then we need ground as well, so let's just bring it that way. So ground, luckily there's one over this side of the board. Ground can go there. And then pin 10 on the Arduino goes to reset, which is at the bottom pin there. And then we've got pin 11. That goes to the furthest pin on the top, uh, pin 12. That goes to the pin next to it, so we're just filling up the top row. And then pin 13, that goes to the one next to that. And that's it, that's all you need to do to wire it up. Now we're going to plug this back in, and then we're going to send our first program to the ATtiny85. We're also going to burn the bootloader onto the ATtiny85 for, for 8 megahertz. so I'll show you how to do that. So once you've correctly installed the library, which I'm sure you will have been, will have been able to, um, under tools and board, you will see a bunch of different options that you'll be able to select. Uh, AT Tiny 85 generally run at one megahertz as standard, but we want to run it at eight megahertz, which means it's more compatible with, um, with delays and millis, so that uh, the timing runs collect correctly, because in the Arduino IDE, it's all, all sort of laid out for 16 megahertz. So we'll select the AT Tiny 85 at 8 megahertz, and we're going to select the programmer as Arduino as ISP, and then we're going to select Burn Bootloader. And you'll see on the Arduino the lights are flashing and it's burnt the bootloader. Down at the bottom of the, the sketch, you'll see it says please define pay, Pagel or whatever. You can generally ignore that, I don't think it means very much. It certainly hasn't affected my, my sketches in the past. So now we're going to load up Blink you know, the, the example we always use. So, uh, basics blink, we're gonna use this. 
and we need to change the pin assignment. So let's put it as pin one, pin zero rather. Pin zero is actually up here, so it doesn't count in the normal way. It goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, just across there. Uh, and if we just upload that now, uh, we've still got the 80 tiny 85 selected and it's, uh, it's on COM5 using either Windows ISP, so we can upload that. And see the lights are going again. And it's programmed. We've got those messages again down here, but we don't need to worry about those. Now, if I unplug all of these cables here, we don't need the Arduino to program anything at the moment. We just want to use it for power. So we can take those away. Now, if I grab an LED, let's throw one in there. And pin zero is just across here. It's the first one. So we'll put that there. And then the bottom one needs to go to ground. So we'll just use the ground that's just here. And it's blinking. So it's really, really easy to do. They're, they're brilliant little chips. Um, they take about 10 milliamps. Uh, that's how much they're gonna use, just generally. And then you've got this LED flashing. So they're not, they're not very power hungry. Uh, and it has sleep mode on it as well. So you can, you can use that using a watchdog timer if you like. Um, so that you can wake it up every eight seconds or that's the longest period of time you can do it. But they're great little things.